Hi, it's Sarah with Core Motion Fitness. Thanks for joining me today for a 30 minute core workout. All you need today for your workout is your body weight and your mat. So let's go ahead and come to the end of our mat and get warmed up and ready to go. So join me at the end of your mat. We're gonna just slowly hinge at our hips, let our hands hang down by our toes, bend our knees nice and deep, and then roll ourselves all the way back up to standing. And let's try that again. Hinge at your hips and crouch down into a small ball and then roll all the way up. And you've got one more time just like that, hinging at the hips, crouch down, and then roll it all the way up to the top. Okay, let's go ahead and walk ourselves out into a plank. So flat back, walk out into a plank position, hold here, draw the abdominals up nice and tight. Good job. Rock forward and back. And we're gonna lift up our right leg and step forward into a lunging position. Our right arm is gonna come off of the ground, rotate, and now weave that right arm underneath your left arm. And let's do that two more times. Lift up and weave it on underneath. Get a nice rotation through your trunk. And one more time, great work. And set your hand back down to the ground. Come back to a plank, walk your hands back to your feet. Crouch down into that small ball and roll all the way back up. And let's try it again. Hinging at the hips, walk out to a plank. This time your left foot is gonna come forward into a lunge and left hand lifts up, rotate. And now weave that left hand underneath the right. Good, try to get a big twist through your trunk right underneath the rib cage. And you've got one more time after this. Lift it on up and set the hand back to the ground. Take your foot back, walk your hands back to your toes, bend your knees and roll it all the way up. And let's try that one more time on each side. So hinging at the hips, walk on out, right leg steps forward and right arm comes up. Good, and just let the right hand come underneath the left and you've got two more. Take this nice and slow, enjoy your warm up. And last one. And set the hand to the ground, right foot comes back. Walk your hands back to your toes. Bend both knees, crouch down, roll on up. And last time on the left side. So walk your hands out, left leg steps forward, hold. And left arm comes up. And just go ahead and weave it underneath. And do it again. Great opener for the hips. And you've got one more time here, lift and set your hand down, walk your foot back. Now rock back into a downward facing dog and stay there for just a moment. And rock forward, you've got two more just like that. And one more time, please. Rock it all the way back, hold. And back to plank position, walk your hands back to your toes and bend into a nice crouching ball. Roll yourself all the way up. Very good, and take a big inhale all the way up here. Bring both hands down behind your back, clasp them together. Roll your shoulders back into place. Good, hinging forward at the hips. Let your arms come up and over. We've got a lot of push-ups today, so we're really gonna wake up the shoulders and upper body. So roll your shoulders up, back and around. Great work. Take your feet about hip distance apart, and now take your hands over to the right side. So this is just a mock wood chopper. It's a really great warm up for the shoulders, for your trunk. So soften the knees, let your arms just float through the air. Good. Micro bend in the knees. And two more. Great job. Let's go ahead and try it on the other side. So roll the shoulders, soften the knees, start with the hands off to the left. And up we go. Good, finding more rotation as you get warm. Maybe reaching the hands back behind the hips. And let's try two more here. And last one, and release. Good, arms crossed forward and back. Nice and long to begin with. And now I want you to make your elbows bend, okay, as you bring your arms back. So really focusing on squeezing through the shoulder blades opening through your chest, alternating which arm is coming on top in the front. Great work, and two more. Last one there, and just shrug those shoulders up and down. All right, so today's workout 
is awesome. I love it. We're going to work on some slow, steady strength training um, for the core, um, and then we'll move into push-ups and back in between each set of work. So we're going to do a variety of push-up exercises today. There'll be lots of modifications if you need them. Um, and I, like I said, just body weight for our workout today. So go ahead and <laughs> bring your feet hip distance apart. Roll your shoulders back and around. Your first exercise is a single leg deadlift. I'm gonna demonstrate for you and then we're gonna do it together, all right? So hands down by your side. You're gonna hinge at your hip and then stand up nice and tall. So reaching both hands down towards your knee and then stand up tall just like that. If you wanted to have your arms out to the side for better balance, that'd be a really great option here. Okay, so 45 seconds on the clock. We're gonna start in three, two, one, brace the core and slow and steady. It's also really great for knees and ankles. Good. Try to keep your toes grounded and your back flat. Nice work. So we'll start with a base move, okay? And then the second time through, we'll just add a little bit more intensity for those that would like it. If you wanna stay with this base move for two, um, two rounds of work, that is completely fine. Now with this single leg deadlift, you do not need to take your hands all the way to the ground. Just right to knee level is a great place to stop, all right? So we've just got about five seconds left here. We're doing 45 second sets with 15 second recoveries. And let's do one more on the other side and done. All right, so not too bad. If you wanna do that exercise again, you have that option or to add a little bit more intensity, it looks like this, we're gonna do one leg at a time. So we'll do a single leg deadlift and then knee and arms lift up. We will not touch the ground. We'll go right back down again and lift the arms up. So if you'd like to join me with that one, we're gonna do 20 seconds on each side. Ready, set, and let's go right now. So hinging at the hips, okay, flat back, bring the knees and arms up, good, and again. And of course you have the option to do that first move and alternate legs just like we did in the beginning. I love this functional standing core work. We use our core mostly when we're standing and moving about our business. Here's our last one on this side. If you're doing this second set with me, go ahead and change to the other leg. Keep your control. It's not about how fast you can go. It's about good form and really feeling the abdominals engage. Great work, great work. Keep going, you've got about eight seconds left here. And we can get one more in, I think. Let's go ahead and give it a try here. Flat back and all the way up. Very nice work and shake it on out. All right, we're gonna head down to the mat for regular push-ups to begin with and swimmers. So 30 seconds of push-ups, 30 seconds of swimmers. Okay, on your knees or on your toes, it's up to you. So knee push-ups look like this, toe push-ups look like this. Okay, tabletop is another great option if you need that lower intensity. All right, ready, set, 30 seconds, and let's go right now. Trying to get elbows to bend to 90 degrees, but even a micro bend at the top is a great option as well. So do what works best for your body. Just keeping in mind that a push-up is a moving plank, so everything, abdominals pulled into the back, glutes squeezing, you are almost there. We've got eight seconds to go. Ugh, love push-ups. Great workout for the body. And one more time and rock back and stretch it out. We'll go right into a swimmer. I'm gonna demonstrate that real quick. So go ahead and go prone position on the mat. Arms are stretched out in front of you. Legs are lifted off the mat, abdominals pulled in, glutes squeezing and we will swim just like this. Ready, set and go. Now you don't have to move quick. Be very slow and controlled. And maybe you just wanna do legs only, or maybe just arms only. Whatever works best for you, okay? Just make sure you're working your glutes, squeezing them tight, lifting that upper body. Great job. You've just got eight seconds to go. Very nice work. Arm stretching as long as possible. Three, two, one, and release. Rock back into a child's pose and rest. Okay, we're ready to go into our next phase of work. So let's go ahead and um, come up to our toes, or up to our feet, sorry. And we're gonna take our feet wide, 
knees turned out toward the toes, fingers behind the ears, all right? So to begin with, we've got side bends right here, side bends. All right, so 30 seconds on the clock, draw the abdominals in, and let's go right here. So really slow and deliberate, reaching your elbow all the way down towards your knee. Great work. Knees are pointed out toward the toes, really feeling that side body and even into your back quite a bit here. Great job. And we've got about eight seconds left here, and then we'll rest for a moment and move on to a slightly more challenging move. Good, keep going. Almost there, and one more time, and release. All right, so shake out those legs a little bit. Next layer, we're gonna be back in that plie again, okay? But this time, we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna make a figure eight from corner to corner. So still working our obliques, still working through our inner thighs and, and hips and glutes. Okay, so sink down low, ready? And it's corner to corner. Just making a lateral figure eight here, reaching all the way to your knees. Great job. Remember, this is 45 seconds. 45 seconds. So what's really common with this move is that we start getting really, really high, and you don't need to do that. You just go right across the body, staying right between your belly button and your shoulders, but really working on the rotation of the rib cage side to side. Good. You've got 15 seconds left, so stay with it. Can you go a little bit deeper into that plie squat? Sure you can. Why not? Almost there, five seconds to go. Nice job, nice job. And you've got one more time and done. All right, shake out those legs. All right, coming up, we're going back down to the ground for push-ups. This time, tricep push-ups. So tricep push-ups can are under the shoulders. You can be on your knees and do them like this. You can be in a half plank and do them here or all the way up on your toes, elbows next to your ribs, okay? The second exercise that you're gonna do are arm circles. Toes to the ground, arms out to the side, and you will circle those arms back and around. So join me for push-ups, tricep push-ups first. So go ahead and get into a position that works for you. I'm gonna do them on my knees hands right under my shoulders, and let's begin right now. Go. So elbows hug your ribs. You're gonna feel a little pinch between the shoulder blades in the down phase of this movement. Good. And again, low back. We wanna really make sure that that low back doesn't sway and our hips don't drop when we go down into our push-up. Good, you are just over halfway, that is the good news. All forms of push-ups, I love them. So good for our body. And let's do three seconds longer. And last one here, and all the way down to the mat. Toes connect to the mat, arms are out. Pull your abdominals in, lift your upper body, and let's circle those arms back and around. 30 seconds on the clock. Gotta check that timer, make sure we're good. So your eyes are looking right out toward the end of the mat. There's no need to throw your head up. Just slightly tuck the chin. Good. These can be big, small, your choice. You're feeling your shoulder blades pull together. This is great for posture. Now to make this even better, try to lift your quads off of the mat and squeeze your butt tighter. Come on, you're almost there. Three, two, one, and done. Good, rock back into a child's pose and stretch right here. Nice work. All right, up next, we have frog jumps and vaults, okay? So, down on the ground still. <clears throat> We're gonna go ahead and take our hands about shoulder distance apart. Come back into a plank position. Two options, you can either walk in and walk back, or you can come all the way in with a jump of your feet on the outsides of your hands and jump back, okay? Alternating exercise are vaults. You're gonna hop one side of your mat, kick your heels up, and walk to the other side. Option, stagger the vault if you would like to. So 30 seconds of frog jumps, uh, I'm sorry, 45 seconds of frog jumps, 45 seconds of vaults, and then we'll go back to some more push-ups. okay? So let's go ahead and get ready to go in three, two, frog jumps are first, plank position and go. Jump in, jump back. Again, these do not have to be fast. Just control the movement. 
Remember the option, walk in, walk back. Just keep those hips low. Okay, another option if you want to make this more intense is to pop your hands off of the ground as you drop your heels down. Great work. Should be feeling nice and toasty at this point. We have got 10 seconds left. Good job. And one more. And recover, rock back and stretch. The next exercise is the vault. So it's side to side over the mat. If you wanna stick with those frog jumps, you sure can. All right, ready? Playing position. Come to one side and kick your heels up in the middle. Ready, set, and go. Up and over. Whew. Remember the option. Stagger, up and over. But it's really great to pull your heels to your butt as you do this exercise. Halfway. Remember, bracing the core. Come on, keep going. Almost there. Whew. 10 seconds to go. Come on, you got this. And one more. Done. Rock back and stretch it out. Very nice job. All right. Your next set of push ups and back work coming your way. Dolphin push ups are next. So dolphin push-ups look like this. You're gonna start in an elbow plank with your toes back behind. Shoulders right over elbows. We're gonna rock our hips up and back and then return back to a plank position. Alternating exercise is a prone lat pull. So you'll be on the ground, arms reaching out, toes grounded, lift your upper body, pull your elbows to your ribs, extend out and lower down. So let's go ahead and start with that dolphin. 30 seconds for dolphin, 30 seconds for lat pull. Ready, dolphin, elbows down. And begin, rock back and bring it forward. I'm gonna show you a modification here on your knees if you need to, rocking back and then bringing it forward. Whatever works best for you is great. You've got only 10 seconds left here. This is a great exercise for the upper back. Again, working posture. And done. Onto the ground. Toes glued to the ground. Arms out in front. Ready. Let's check that time. And go. Pull your elbows to your ribs. Reach it back out. Good. I'm not looking for speed. Looking for controlled movement for your back. Great job, great job. You've just got five seconds left. One more, we'll do it. And done. Rock back into a child's pose. Enjoy a nice stretch here. Maybe move your hips side to side. All right, we are gonna roll over onto our back for our next set. So roll onto your back. <clears throat> Leg circles are next. So one leg in the air, arms out to the side. And you're gonna circle that leg around, crossing the midline of the body, focusing on the lower abdominals and mobility in the hips. Okay, we're gonna do 20 seconds on one side, 20 seconds on the other side. Okay, alternating exercise <coughs> is wipers. Your hands are gonna be out to the side to begin with as an option. Legs come up to one side, down the middle, up to the other side. To make it more challenging, you could lift your hands up off of the mat but we'll stick with our hands on the ground to start with, okay? So single leg circles, 45 seconds total, hips glued to the ground, and let's begin right now. Good. So just keeping your circles just right outside the line of the body. They don't have to be too big. And now switch direction, same leg, just go in the opposite direction. Really feel the lower part of your abdominals engaging. And let's go ahead and switch to the other leg. So set that leg down. The other one comes up, belly button glued to the spine. And here we go. Nice work. And switch directions. Good. 
almost there. Let's do one more and done. Rest for just a moment. Hug your knees into your body. Wipers are next. We're going to take our arms out to the side. Legs go straight up. I'm going to demonstrate one more time. We're rolling our hips up to one side, roll them down the middle and then up to the other side. Modification, bend your knees and bring the knees corner to corner. Ready? 45 seconds on the clock. Let's go. Bring it to the corner, down the center and to the opposite side. Your head is on the ground. Okay, it's really common to wanna to lift our head off the ground, but we wanna just let it relax. Our neck gets strained so much in our daily life, we don't need to add more of it when we're exercising. Again, try to reach those toes corner to corner. Good, and if you're feeling it and you want to, you can take your hands off the ground. Glue your shoulders to the ground. It does make it a lot more challenging. So hands on the ground is perfectly fine. Great work, we're almost there. Almost there, we've got eight seconds left. Nice work. I think we can get one more on each side. Let's go ahead and try it right now. One more to each side, up and last one. And done, hug your knees into your body, roll yourself over onto your front side. Let's get ready for our push-ups again, this time diamond push-ups. You're gonna turn your hands in so your pointer fingers and your thumbs are towards one another, ready? So again, knees or toes, looks like this, completely up to you, ready? 30 seconds on. Following that, we've got a TIY sequence which I will take you through in the prone position. Here we go. Okay, knees or toes and begin. Elbows are pointing out toward the sides. Of course, you can do this from tabletop as well. Great job, great job. You are halfway there. I love how this engages the upper back and the triceps. Keep going. And two more. Great work. And all the way to the ground. Toes to the ground. You're going to stretch your arms out. Engage your glutes. Okay, follow me. We're gonna lift our upper body, stretch our arms nice and long out in front of us. Stay there. Okay, we're gonna go out a little wider into our Y and then out into a T. Hold here and then bring it all the way back down. Lift it up again, arms are reaching long. Open out to a Y, out to a T and bring it all the way back down. Squeeze your butt a little tighter, lift up. Open to a Y, out to a T. We've got time for one more. Let's do one more together. Lift up, hold, out, open, and release. Rock back into a child's pose and stretch it out. All right, coming next. We're gonna roll onto our back for star crunches. So star crunches, <sighs> arms and legs are hip distance, or I'm sorry, are mat distance apart. Okay, so just taking it up to the corners of your mat. Draw your abdominals in. You're gonna reach one arm across the body to meet the opposite leg, and then lower down to the mat and switch to the other side, just like that. I'll show you an option to make it more intense as we go. So 45 seconds on the clock, ready, set, and begin. Reach it up and gently lower down. Take this real slow and controlled in both directions. Great work. To make this more challenging, you can take your arms and legs wider if you'd like to. Further reach across the body. And to make it even more challenging, if you'd like to, you're gonna roll yourself all the way up, okay? Into more of a sit up position. We've only got 10 seconds left. If you'd like to try this with me. Good job. Let's try to get one more in and release, hug your knees into your body. So in fact, for our next la layer of this star crunch, we're actually gonna start in a ball just like this. So I'm gonna demonstrate, if you wanna try it with me, you can. Arms and legs go out to the corners of your mat and then everything comes in, okay? So let's try it again. To make it more intense, you can crunch right up through the middle and then lower down, arms and legs floating off the mat. So timer starts right now let's go arms and legs out crunch it back in still moving slow and controlled and maybe you'd like to take your legs 
up higher. Maybe that feels better on your low back. Great. Whatever works best for your body. Maybe it doesn't work to crunch and you want to leave your head on the ground. That's another wonderful option to protect the neck. Keep going, keep going. Almost there. And let's try for one more. Reach it open and crunch hold and release back to the ground. Good job. Roll over onto your front side again. We've got another set of push-ups. So traveling push-ups. So all we're gonna do is start in a regular push-up position. Okay, you're gonna take one hand out to the side, give me a push-up, bring it in, tricep push-up. Out to the side, regular push-up, in, tricep push-up. Okay, so traveling push-ups, and then we'll go into a bow for the second set of work. Bow looks like this, hands are behind your glutes, okay, squeezing tight, we're gonna just lift up off the mat, arms and legs reaching long, and then gently lower back down. Okay, 30 seconds of each, ready, set. We'll start with the push-ups. So on your knees or on your toes, and let's go, 30 seconds, push-up, and then triceps, and then push-up. Good. And again, you can do, maybe you want to do your tricep push up on your knees. That's great. Totally up to you. Oh man, these push ups are catching up, aren't they? Come on. You've got this. Almost there. Let's get one more to the other side. And we are done. Rock back into a child's pose and stretch it out. We're gonna finish up with 30 seconds of bow and then we will stretch and move on. So um, take your hands behind your back, draw your abdominals up, turn your head to one side. As you lift your upper body and lower body, face your mat, pull your hands behind your glutes, stay, and then turn your head to the other side as you lower back down. And again, exhale, lift, hold, and gently lower down. Good. Lift, lift, lift. Reach your hands long. And one more time here. Extend those arms and legs. Hold. And release. Hands back under the shoulders. Rock back. And stretch it out. Very nice work. We are going to finish with a quick plank at the end. Just to knock off this final... 30 minutes of core work. So elbows underneath the shoulders, toes back behind. You've got one minute to plank here. The great test to see if you challenged your abdominals at all today. You might start to feel a little shaky and that's a good sign that you worked hard. You can be on your knees too if you prefer, but continue to hold. Nice work. Great, now if this feels pretty good and you're like, man, maybe I can work a little harder. Take one leg off the ground. Just hold it there. And switch to the other leg. Lift it off the ground. Uh, you guys worked so hard today. All right, both feet on the ground. Hold for the final 10 seconds. Count it down in your head if you need to. We're at five, four, three, two, and drop the knees to the mat and rock back. Take your hands to one side, hips to the opposite side. And walk those hands over and switch the hips to the opposite direction. Great job, walk your hands back to your knees, come up onto the knees, bring one leg forward, drop into a lunge position, lift both arms up. Good job. And we're going to drop the same arm as front leg and just lift up and over into a side bend. Arm on top will come down to the ground and we'll reach the other arm over the head. And switch. Go ahead and take your other leg forward into a lunge. Okay, nice long distance between the knee to knee. Arms lift up and drop the same arm as front leg. Reach the opposite arm over your head. Hold here. And let's bring that hand to the ground and reach away from our front leg. 
and release. Come to your knees. All of that upper body work, let's stretch it out. Elbows to 90 degrees, hold. Good job. Drop one arm down into a robot. That's what I like to call this. And bring it up and switch the other arm. Drop it down. And both arms come back together. Okay, right arm is gonna come to the front, okay? And then, so right arm front and then cross. And then lift those elbows up. Oh, that feels so good on the back. And then open wide. This time, left arm comes on front and then just kind of sweep it around. Lift your elbows up. And release. Roll your shoulders up, back and around. Good. Lift them all the way up. Give it a big circle around. Good posture for your day. And you are done. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for joining me for this 30 minute core workout. I will see you next time.